In our paper, we use two-mode FOX states and entangled double FOX superpositions to characterize photon sources and diagnose decoherence effects in interferometers. In the laboratory, Maxinda interferometers are used to estimate relative phase shifts between the interferometric arms. Interferometric contrast, however, is typically not optimal, but only achieves a finite visibility. The reasons for such imperfect interference visibility are manifold. The most important decoherence effects are dephasing, that is, the loss of phase coherence, distinguishability, that is, mode mismatch between the two arms, and finally, mixing, which can be due to residual entanglement to idler photons or some random classical process. But how can we distinguish these three different processes to effectively cure them and achieve optimal visibility? Single photon states, or more generally, noon states, are not suitable for this task, because the interference contrast turns out to be simply the product of the three decoherence parameters. Double Fox states feature bosonic bunching, but they are not suitable for decoherence diagnosis in the Maxine interferometer either, since they do not carry a relative phase. In our contribution, we show that superpositions of double Fox states combine the best of both worlds. These states feature phase-dependent interference together with bosonic effects. As a consequence, they will allow great insight into the effects that influence interferometers. To see that, we treat many particle interference using double-sided Feynman diagrams. The probability for a scattering event is then written as the norm of the wave function projected onto the desired outcome. We rewrite the probability as the scalar product of the projected vector with itself and use the idempotence of the projector. By expanding the resulting terms, we obtain a sum of double-sided Feynman diagrams. We find classical contributions that are immune to any sort of decoherence and exchange terms that suffer from dephasing, distinguishability and mixing. For noon states, there are only two types of double-sided Feynman diagrams classical and phase-dependent exchange contributions, hence the inability to resolve different decoherence processes. For double Fox superpositions, we have a much richer picture and a dependence on several classes of diagrams with different numbers of exchange terms. Therefore, event probabilities depend on the decoherence parameters in a more intricate way than for noon states. Pictorially speaking, a single photon interference signal with a certain visibility is compatible with a two-dimensional surface in the space of decoherence parameters, while it does not reveal the very location on that surface. But already for the simplest non-trivial double Fox superposition, composed of the Fox states 2, 1 and 1, 2, the resulting signal reveals the quantitative impact of all three processes and the precise location and parameter space. That is to say, the space of parameters is mapped to the three-dimensional space of observables. The signal borne by double Fox superpositions then immediately reveals not only the total degree of decoherence, shown here as a yellow surface, but also to which extent decoherence is due to dephasing, distinguishability or mixing, as indicated by the red ball. In our paper, we treat two-mode scattering with double-sided Feynman diagrams and explain in more detail the dependence of transition probabilities on decoherence processes. We show how to differentiate decoherence effects in a more and more detailed way as we increase the number of particles. Finally, we discuss the characterization of photon sources via twin Fox states in a way that goes qualitatively beyond the visibility of two-photon Hongo-Mandel interferometry.